going to show you how to do an aerial. Alright, so before we begin, I just want to let you guys know that there's two types of aerials. There is a tricking aerial that goes to the side, that goes side to side. And then there's the gymnastics aerial that goes straight over the top. And you start facing one way and end facing the other way. Alright, first I'm going to show you guys the easiest method to learn an aerial, which is the tricking aerial, which you go side to side. And it's a little easier, so I'm going to show how to do that one first. Alright, so for the tricking arrow, you don't even need a cartwheel. Alright, I'm going to show you how you can learn it just by doing some few steps. Alright, so for the first step, you're going to want to, this is how you're going to set up. You're going to start here and you're going to wind up and you're going to go down just like that. This leg is going to kick and you're going to go this way over. But to start, you can just start from a spin. So you can go like this, kick, over. Right, that's how we're going to start. Here, over. All right, it's a super uninverted version of an aerial. Here. All right, and then if you invert that and flip it more, then you have an aerial. All right, so you're just going to do that until you have your aerial. Guys, when you're doing the tricking aerial, there'll be a point where you feel like you're going upside down, all right? And a lot of times it's hard to go upside down, but the way to do it is to think of kicking this leg all the way over your head, all right? Don't just try it at first. First, cut your leg around the side, and then slowly do it more and more until you kick straight over and you actually go over your head. All right, now for the gymnastics aerial. For the gymnastics aerial, um, you want to have a solid gymnastics cartwheel. All right, to get the gymnastics aerial, I would just work on really fast um, gymnastics cartwheels first. After you have that down, just pick one of your hands to do it with and try a really fast one-handed cartwheel. After that, you're going to slowly let go until you are doing the aerial without your hands. By the way, an aerial and a one-handed cartwheel where you're barely touching, they do feel a lot different. So um, just work on the one-handed one and then try it without hands. And a lot of times it feels like you should touch the ground. Just trust yourself and don't touch the ground and you'll probably make it over fine. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And other than that, I'll see you in the next video.